gathered bell sleeve DIY refashion project, that's what's coming up. need a few simple supplies such as straight pins, of course your fabric scissors, a stick trumpet or seam ripper, but this is optional and I'll tell you all later, and a tape measure, that's also optional as well. So, and of course you're going to need your old shirt. The first thing you're going to do is fold your shirt in half. like so. So you're going to have one sleeve on top of the other and I am just going to put a couple of pins because I want to make sure this is going to be exact on both sides into the shoulder seam and one of the underarm. Just want to make sure that they just stay in place. So with all that nice and flattened out, this is where your tape measure will come into play. So you can just you can just eyeball this really. It's up to you. Try on the shirt would be a good idea um, to get um, an idea of where you actually want your main seam of the sleeve to be. So I am going to be coming down about eight inches. And that's about 20 centimeters so I'm going to start here and then I'm going to cut straight down start here and cut straight down I'm just going to get my scissors and again you can measure this out if you wish or just go for straight chopping off the lower part of your sleeve now this is where I'm going to be using my seam ripper and this is the optional part so you can just if you wish get your scissors and then just cut all the way around to remove the cuff but I am going to be using my seam ripper because that's what I do <laughs> just so that um, I don't know it's just something that I do uh, I like to know what's happening inside garments and um, I'm quite fascinated with that so I'm going to just going to put my so you might put it into there and then just remove both of the cuffs. The cuffs are now removed and you're left with your bottom end of the sleeves. Um, if they do need pressing, do give those a press. And it will be a good idea to check out the links in the description for all the techniques that I'll be using in this refashion project. So the next thing to do is to cut your sleeve in half. If you don't want the placket, by the way, um, which I think is a beautiful detail on this uh, sleeve, you can just get your scissors and just cut down each side. You just get a smaller um, section in which to work with, but I would recommend keeping it because it does add a beautiful detail. So um, you need to cut your sleeve in half, so fold your sleeve like so. Make sure that's in half. And then just get your scissors and slide it in there. Do them separately, it's easier. And of course you get a more even cutting for both sleeves. And then once you've done that, I would recommend to remove the sleeve seam. And it's just a case of cutting down really close to the edge of that seam and do it to all to both of the sleeves and 
now we need to work with the widest part of the sleeve so we have the top part of the sleeve here and that is going to be the widest part of the sleeve because we're going to gather that section and we need the width that's going to be giving us the most volume and then we're going to have this section because that's going to be the edge of the sleeve so we're going to put that on top and if you wish you can just put a little notch in the top just as a as a reminder right and the next thing to do is to open up your sleeve and then place right side onto right side and then what you're going to do then is you're going to sew very small narrow seams and then you're going to put gathering stitch along the top So now we have the narrow close seam and I zigzag the raw edge and I have gathered the top of the edge of the sleeve. And then once you've done the gathering at the top, the next thing I would do would be a double fold hem on the bottom of the sleeve so that will just neaten that raw edge. So there we have the double fold of the hemline that's on the wrong side let's turn that on the right side and we're almost there so the next thing to do is to gather up the stitching around the top of the sleeve in, in order to start you gather this all you should do is fold your sleeve in half and your starting point will be the centre you know the halfway point and you sew all the way around. Now there we have the dabbed sleeve. So we'll just get the shirt. We'll turn the shirt to the wrong side. And there are those little notches. And then I'm going to get the sleeve, put my arm in, my hand in. And then I'm going to get the sleeve and just line up. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm kind of lining up the placket point here to the centre part of the sleeve. So that's going to be there. I'm going to put a pin in at that point and then I am going to get the centre back of the sleeve and I'm going to put that onto the centre, I mean on the back seam of the shirt sleeve, which is there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen these gathers just a little bit, just to make sure we get a good fit. And then I'll put pins in as I go. As I just loosen it out like so, just making sure that I'm getting all the gathers at that point. And then you put all the pins into the gathered section. I'm going to look in there and then I'm going to put more pins to the other side as well until I'm happy with all the gathers being at the side and at the front part of the sleeve. The gathered bell shaping part of the sleeve is now inserted. So as you can see, you've got most of the gathers to the top and the side of the sleeve and towards the back of the sleeve, you've already got any gathers whatsoever. But like I said earlier, it's your choice if you wanted to go all the way around. So the next step will be for me to sew this in position. So I'm going to sew a straight, straight, a straight stitch all the way around and then I'm going to zigzag the raw edge. And there you have your gathered section of your sleeve 
onto your shirt. So there we go. How pretty are those gathers? So for this show you on the inside. So you've got the gathers towards the front and the side of the sleeve and then no gathers towards the back of the sleeve. That's my personal choice. So that's the inside. That is going to be the back of the sleeve. And there we have the front of the sleeve with all those pretty gathers. And that is the gathered bell sleeve, the do-it-yourself refashion project. In the description I've got links to all the techniques that I've used in this project, so please check those out. Do subscribe to the channel. You can press the bell, which is notification of when I actually upload my video so that you are the first to know. So please do give that a go. And if you do try this project, I'd also love to hear your comments also. So until next time, happy fashion sewing and I will see you next time.